Technician Setup is open from the Configurations menu. This section provides space to store and edit administrative information and background details for technicians, service advisors, and a shop manager. You may switch to a different employee record from this drop-down list. If any changes were underway with the current record, you'll be prompted to keep or cancel them. This inactive checkbox is used if the employee is not available for assignments in the scheduler or has been discharged. This box is unchecked by default. Employee code determines how each employee is identified on your documents. It is useful to assign a unique schedule color to each technician as this provides visual clues when viewing the calendar. Additional fields include date hired, date discharged with calendar tools for date entry. Wages and Commission Technician or service advisor wage is defined by the following parameters hourly or salary wage, and number of hours per week. The date of last pay raise may be entered here. If any technician also works as a service advisor or vice versa, they should be entered twice, as both a technician employee record and a service writer employee record, to ensure their names will appear on each of the appropriate list for assignment to repair orders. Please note the shop manager wage has no impact on check profit functions. Parts Commission, Labor Commission, and Sublet Commission participation is configured here. Type and rate of commission will be a percentage of profit or sale of these operations or items. The default setting is none. Once you've completed the wages and commission input, click on the Hours tab to confirm the employee work hours as it relates to the scheduler. The hourly cost is driven by hourly wage. If commission only, this value will be zero. Hours per week reflects the value entered on the previous tab. This is where you store the technician or service advisor's start and end times. By default, times are set to 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The calendar uses these hours to alert you if the technician is being overbooked. Currently, this employee is selected to be available Monday through Friday for scheduling. To illustrate how this grid works, we're going to change his schedule to be on Saturday and off Monday. Double-click on the blank start time for Saturday. The start and end times of 8 to 4 will both be automatically selected. You may modify these times as needed. Click on the start cell for Monday and press the delete key to delete that time. Repeat this in the end cell for Monday to complete the schedule change. The next step is to move on to the Address tab. This is handy to store additional personal information such as home address, contact phone numbers, birthday, and any notes for an employee. While this information is not required to use the scheduler, we have included it here for convenience. Click OK when entry is completed. A technician record may only be removed from the system if they have no current assignments to orders on the Work in Progress screen. Once that work is posted or the tech assignment changed, then the delete function can be carried out. Previous invoices posted into the history file will be unaffected and retain the original technician assignment.